Hello everybody, I'm Chris Chin, and welcome to my first ever Minecraft video. I've been playing on this world for about three years now. There's no dragon in. Pretty rich, as you can tell. Uh, I really enjoy this game. Minecraft is probably the best game there is out there. Nobody can change my mind on that. And as you can see, I've done quite a bit. My friends have always told me, hmm should make some videos and I finally decided hey it's time so if you all like my content just go ahead and like and subscribe leave a comment in the comment section and let's get started all right guys so this is where it all began right here uh, I created this world and I flew around for quite a while just trying to find a really cool place to live I found a nice, real flat area where I constructed this village. The first thing I probably built was over here. It's gone. It was an auto fisher. It doesn't work anymore in this world, so I got rid of it. But uh, I kind of just built up this whole area around this flat place and then let all these peeps live here. And then I made my own little base over here. Good timing, almost nighttime. Let's go sleep. I'll show you on my bedroom. Uh, I thought this place was really sweet though. There's a giant crater in the middle of this mountain. What was that? Let's run up to my bedroom. Okay. There's a giant crater though. I thought it'd be perfect for a base. It has little caves running through it. Put some grass in the middle. Show this off and this is just kind of where i built up my wealth started practicing my builds um back here. got a little mushroom come back this way got the caves this is where i'd keep my old storage room got the grass got that green grass and i got all these little secret buttons everywhere most of them do nothing they just look like pebbles this one quickly opens that door. Got another secret little button right here. I think crafting tables are super ugly. So put a little contraption in right there. And then this one, a trash can. Uh, <laughs> there we go. But the cool thing about this little cave is it loops around. Just got some nice little put my first little wheat farm in here and this is the coolest thing with the cave this was my very first ever pink sheep super rare if you come out this side got my lighthouse i've redone this thing like three times i thought it was ugly but if you watch it it's pretty cool i got a little redstone thing going off in there bam it's gone flashes like a real lighthouse if you come up here got my little smelter pretty cool where I'm back in here show off the rest of the base Eat. I'm a little quiet it's just because I'm not used to this sort of thing I've never made any kind of commentary on videos, and it's still a little awkward for me. This is where my first smelting setup was. I've got like four of them in this world. Got my old little potion room. That needs to be tracks. Go, go. Looks like it's not happening. Come around over here. Got my first little horse. But I also got these cool guys over here. Down there, nothing cool. Just a little mine. Come over here. We got my first little enchanting table. And come back here. This is where I wanted to put my bee farm originally, but uh, I decided to put it way down that way. This just goes inside there, goes up to the top. There's nothing up there though. Come back in. If you look over here, got another furnace. 
This thing over here was my concrete farm before I realized you could... Oh, I don't got any concrete. Uh, before I realized you could put some in this hand and right click it with a pickaxe like that. I would stack straight up and then just jump through a hole and then stand right here, mine it. Oops. Uh-oh. Down here, got a little spider farm. It's really slow going up and down that ladder, so I'm not even gonna bother. Got a little secret room back here though. This used to be diamonds. I used to keep all my wealth in here, but I obviously just got shulkers now. I keep it all in here. Come back around this way. Fountain of youth right here. Oh, it's supposed to shoot health potions. I guess I changed it with bread. <laughs> Over here, I got my uh, old auto fisher. I gutted it for parts. I probably needed hoppers at some point before I had an iron farm. Come back around this way. And I got my old little pumpkin melon farm. This used to be a giant map, which I moved to my uh, castle, which y'all saw at the beginning of the video. Come back over Got another board farm. Press that button. Shoots them all down. There's a little secret hidden room back here. Oh, if I want to slurk. This was my very first mob farm. And so this thing's actually incredibly efficient. I've gone around my entire world within this area and lit up all the caves. So I get tons of drops. I have a much better one now. We'll get to that. Nothing over here. Never got to that. And this was one of the first little areas I built in this world. It was my farms. You just plant them, wait for them to grow. Everything just falls down into little water streams. You go in here, shoots it up right there. It's obviously empty. This over here is just a little, it was a little flower farm. Very slow. Come over here. Got a little cobblestone generator. Super high tech, I know, I know. Right here, got some sea pickles. This is where I'd, oh, I thought I had some boom. It's where I'd originally grow them. Put a little sugar cane farm right here. If we go outside this gate, brings to my old tree farm. Before I built something much better. Oops. I got all the trees in the game over here. Except jungle trees. I ripped them up. And so what I have now is the Treetho TNT Chopper. This one was built by Ethos Lab. Um, let's see if it's loaded real quick. Got some in there. And I'll demonstrate how it works. Yep. All good. Here we go. Grab some bone meal. Grab some sapling. There should be some already planted. This thing is incredibly fast. If you, uh, cut trees down here, so. This is the best thing I've ever built. Just stand right here. There's trees to grow. If they ever want to grow. It usually takes one to grow for the rest of them to grow. Break that. You go down here. Oh, I took my boots off. Oh. And usually when I do this, I have a hoe with me. You want to just fall down here and make sure this hole is clear. If not, it's all going to blow up. And uh, trust me, I've had that happen way too much. I always forget to close this thing right now. Just 
run back around, go back up. Click the lever. This thing's always so fun to watch. Let's get a good view from that. Oh, <laughs> silly. You gotta flick it. I haven't used this thing in a while. I promise this is a lot faster than I went. You just gotta streamline the process a little bit. Pick up all my goodies. Look at all that. I'm sure there's more laying around here. And some of it gets stuck. But you can grow the trees under the trees, so it doesn't really matter. I don't ever really like cleaning it up, so I just come over here, hit that button, pop back under, and replant your saplings. This thing right here, it's an old iron farm. Never completed it. What I have right now is this giant portal farm. I'm eventually gonna rip it down because yes, I know. It's super duper ugly. I wanna build a really cool castle back here. And this is definitely gonna be in the way. But for now, it makes me iron and gold at the same time. There's a very simple gold farm at the very top. I mean, iron farm. Let's come in here. This used to auto sort, but it's obviously broken. I hear one dying right now, actually. Uh, instead of sleeping in this bed, let's go check out this house. I really love this house. It's pretty cool. I'm not really one for interiors, so. I'm not really going to go and show off any interiors. This one's probably the most finished out of all my builds. I just never go inside any of these buildings, so um, there's really no need to do the insides. But maybe one day. Oh, I'm struggling to get up here. But I love this. I love this little bedroom. You just fly in, go to sleep, and you got easy escape right here. Good view of my entire world, too say I'm not really f like I'm not too fond of this village it's my old style of building, but it certainly is a good memory. I love all these guys. They're my homies. They're my friends. This is where I used to keep the dragon egg. Still not very beautiful, but practice is practice. The more you build, the better you get. Come over here. And I put all this bamboo right here just to kind of divide this two sides. This is more like my advanced builds, terraforming and everything, while this is just old school. Also, isn't that just so cool? Rush. Rush is like my favorite band. All right, so, so it branches off in the two directions right here. I'm gonna show off the beach first. Um, I really like this build. A little beach you got your mushroom block path i thought this looked really good in the beach got my uh, pet turtles over here keep them under a little gazebo protect them from the sun and they're enslaved forever we got some little boats over here i think i came up with this design i think pretty cool cute little boats we got the seawall right here and that's to keep all my cute little fishies in here. I found a tropical sea, caught a ton of fish, a ton of coral. Oh, look, there's a drown. Keep them all in here though. 
and come back up. Oops, I never finished those sides. That'll probably never get fixed. I don't really like this house too much. It's pretty basic. It's all right. It's just a little rectangle. Same with this bridge. Nothing complex, but it's simple. Simple's not always that bad. Right here, got a little bamboo farm. Is there any bone meal in there? Let's see. Oh yeah, there it goes. This, this is my best friend. His name is Sam. See, he loves me. Hey. Over here, we got my giant spruce house. I got inspiration for this build from Reddit. It's not a copy, but it's pretty close. I did, however, think it'd be cool to add a little tower to it. Again, not very detailed on the inside, but that's okay. Haven't really finished these stairs or anything. You can't even get to the top right now. But uh, you come up over here. Got a little bed. Sometimes I fly in here to sleep. It's a nice little view. Oops. I'll fly around the tower. Hope y'all get a good little view of it. I think it's neat. Right here is my old sugarcane farm called the Sugarcane Island. Oops. Again, nothing fancy. And then we'll head back over this way. And then let's head up here. This is the world's biggest pain in my butt, I swear. Used to work so well. It was a raid farm. I would get so many emeralds from this thing, but I don't know what's wrong. It just decided one day, hey, I'm not going to work. I thought it'd be really cool to put a mushroom up here too, because you need milk to get rid of bad omen when you're done using it. This thing has gotten me so many emeralds though, and then just stopped working. Now I'm a broke boy. But what I would do is I'd fly over to this tower. Perfect location, just so convenient. Look at these guys. All this jungle is placed by hand. All the bam, oops. <laughs> All the bamboo, all the mushrooms, all the trees. I, I don't know why I decided to make it jungle themed. But I think it turned out great. These bridges over here, maybe one day I'll finish. I got inspired by good times from Scar actually in these. He has some in his little jungle village in Hermitcraft season seven. And, uh, I just loved it. Uh, I intend to one day, a little tree house right here going in between, going up and down. Got a little lava pool here. There's some campfires hidden over there. Make them smoke. If we head over this way, this is the oddest thing ever. It's a frozen ocean biome, but it only has one frozen spike. I've never seen anything like this, but I thought it'd be neat to make a little, little base out of it. All blue, my favorite color. Made a little river right here. And let's head back. All right, and we're back over here. Obviously, we went that way last time. How'd y'all get out? Uh oh. You're gonna die. And we got my insanely huge wheat field over here. I've spent so much time working on this thing, but I think it really paid off. It just looks so cool. And a running joke to myself in this world is, I'm gonna build the windmill. This thing has been here before everything else I've built out here. And I've still not done it. And I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Just a little joke. You keep going. You take a ride over here. You got my little berry bush farm. Nothing fancy. Berries are useless. Got these little custom trees over here. I thought they were pretty. And this is one of the uglier things in my world. I've never really been inspired to uh, make anything out of this. 
Simple little chicken farm. Got my creepers over there, just creeping. Uh, I have plans for them, but uh, they keep blowing up. If you uh, come back this way and you take a left around this corner, we got my pumpkin patch. Really like this too. I love pumpkins. I used to have them all throughout this forest and it just looked a little messy. So I tried hiding some lighting like this and then just moved all the pumpkins in one spot. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Come back right here. And then this is the flower farms. Got two of them actually. Quick. There we go. This one right here could be a lot better, but I don't really care. Oh, there is bone meal in there. This thing wasn't working the other day. I wonder why. Anyways. Oh, no. There we go. Just stand here and flip this. Oh, yeah, that is working now. Get whatever you need. You come in here, pick it all up, and then you can just throw it in there. Oh, wait, that's the bone meal chest. Oops. Oh, well. I haven't used that thing in forever. One of the first things I built over on this side was this farm. Just a neat little flower farm. And it was broke for such a long time before I fixed it for this video. Just put it in there. Make yourself a ton of flowers. Plant it right there. Memory of this video. And then this goes around two different ways. I really like this bridge. Uh, I used to play on an uh, Anarchy server that had a protected spawn. And uh, the owner liked my build, so he let me build a cool little bridge. And I built this there, and I loved it so much, I had to bring it over to my own world. And it's still missing some stuff on the inside, but like I said, phew, who needs interiors, right? This little path right here just leads out into the jungle. And there's obviously some blocks missing right there. Just another little house. Super nice interior, huh? Crafting table. Oh, it's almost night again. I'll show you all my favorite bed. It's right up here. I probably sleep in this bed more than any other bed. There we go. Oh. Got to sleep. There we go. There we go. And good morning. Woo. If we go down oh, this way, we'll make it over to my auto smelter. This is my final one. I'll never build another one. And it's still kind of broken. It's got a little bit of kinks. But you come over here. This is where you put all your fuel. This is where you put all the stuff you want to smelt. And it takes it out really fast. Did you see that? I semi-designed this one by myself. I got some inspiration from Ethos Lab, again, because he's just the best. Flick that lever, fills this stuff up over here. I could have made this a lot more efficient, but I just, I don't know, form over function, I guess. I already put some in here, though. Come over here. And, uh, you throw it in the smelt. And this thing can do a stack at a time. Uh, the timing is still a little bad, so you might see that it doesn't fill all of them first go. Yeah, see. And also sometimes when the items trigger, it doesn't set it off again. Like, watch. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It actually did it. I figured out what is wrong with it, though. I just, oh gotta be open but it just shoots that stuff up let's get some has to have some speed it shoots this stuff into there if you don't want it to 
You can break the shulker and just stand right there and pick it up yourself. Pretty cool. And sometimes some stuff gets stuck in there. It's supposed to be super fast, but again, redstone, am I right? If we come over this way, we got a bamboo farm. This thing is awfully loud. Yeah, you hear that? I don't even want to go in there. But I have a ton of little uh, mine carts under there that collect it. I'm going to eventually build a more efficient one so I don't have to use kelp as fuel. But for now, it works. Come over this way. Go up the stairs. And this is a... Uh, Actually, a creeper farm, believe it or not. It was one of the first houses I built over here. The creeper, uh, the gunpowder goes up into here, goes into the house. Again, pretty empty interior. But you come around this side, some stairs to go up. There's a little bedroom up there. And it's not perfect. Let's see, you get some bones and some string in there. It's whatever. You come over here. Let's check these guys out. They're evil. God. You don't know how many times these guys have blown up on me. Come down this way. Got my bee farm. And it's a giant honey jar, actually. I love this thing so much. And it's kind of a flex but look i'm super rich so beacons for lighting of course uh i hit some little farms under here though it goes through a lot of bottles every time they go in and out it shoots a bottle so it doesn't always collect but i i think there's five of them in here and you afk for a little bit or just put some bottles in there and play it's obviously gonna collect quite a bit this right here, this entire cliff, I built this cliff. Oh man, it took so long, but it was worth it. It's so beautiful. This is my sugar cane farm. It collects, pushes it all over here. Oh, yeah, I picked it all up recently. Oops. It's not, oops. There we go. It's not super efficient, but it works. I have really big plans for the inside of this thing, which y'all will see in a future video. Got my redstone in there, though. We come back down this way. You can go up those stairs, and then there's a bridge that just connects to my sheep farm. Right now, I have a lot of these guys collecting black wool. But I have some big plans that's going to require on the black carpets. Hint, some map art. Come back down here. I still haven't fixed this. This has been here forever. There used to be another portal right here. Got a little pond though. Come up this way. You're supposed to go through there, but it's too loud. Got my pumpkin melon farm. I never, never ever collect. And then my new sea pickle farm is over here. Let's click this and go in. Pretty simple. You just click that. And you break them. I got the design from Waddles. He made a little sea pickle like this in his world. And I really liked it, so I I yoinked it. If we come over here, I still haven't made any official path, but I wanted to have a grand nether portal. Something that you look at and you're like, Whoa, where does that go? And so, here we go. Look at it. It's so big. Uh, this little thing right here actually goes down to a skeleton spawner that I found while caving. I'll set that up one day, but for now, why bother? And I'm not going to go in just yet. I'll show the nether in a little bit. Because this portal over here doesn't connect to my hub and I don't. I'll eventually collect, connect it. Come back this way though. And I think what makes my world so cool is that paths connect literally everything. So 
Uh, I've I've always wanted to do something cool with inside of this cave. This naturally spawned like this, but again, you obviously can tell I've done a lot of work. I need to patch that up too. Got another portal down here as well. But if you go up here, this makes it. This is supposed to be like a little basement to the house up there. I've obviously never set it up. interior not finished i love this building though so cool here let's get a good view of it from over here like towards it very pretty very unique i've really seen a house like it in here <laughs> so basic empty come around this side though there's a hidden little berry farm over here And then this goes two directions. I call this the path of opulence, though, because I'm so rich. You got your beams, you got your diamonds, blue shines. Over here is the item sorter. And boy, this took forever to build. The very cool thing about this thing, though, is it sorts multiple items at once. I'm not smart enough to come up with something like this myself. Uh, Mizuma Games actually made this. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check it out. But uh, you can come over here. You can pop this little window open. This is just to uh, look good. You can put stuff in right there. But I made an actual drop off as well. Come over here. You got the little AFK room. Now this thing's cool. Look at all my cinnamon buns down there. Didn't take that long to get it all. <laughs> we got a nice little interior. This is where I did. I tried because I'm here a lot. If you go in. I'll try and explain how this works really quick. So you come in. Go around this way. Come in. So this is where the items come, uh, got a stack, so it'll pick up that st stack of items. You can put a few things in there, like that. and then it needs one empty spot. So this will take one item and just put it back in the chest. If it's a full stack, it can detect if it's a full stack. You come over here, it goes along the rails and it goes under all these chests, which have filters. So like these are named, so it will never pull anything out from this spot. But if it has like, say that item, it's going to come around. And since it's on this row, this is a little thing that I did add myself. A little shortcut. It'll go up here and it'll put that item back into that chest. So it always remembers. And then this will send a signal that way that an item went through and tell which hopper Put the items in pretty cool and then it comes up here unloads and then goes back down and starts to process all over again and then back out here this is the little secret room the only way to get into is fly and i made it that way to keep it safe because this is where i keep all my mementos keep all my well there used to be a ton of shulkers over here but i Got a ton of other like tools. Got a bed up here. And then this is where the official drop off is. I can add some more chests and stuff if I ever feel like I need more room. But I've never really had an issue. Put that in there. And it'll eventually just take it all and sort it. Go to sleep. And this is where I move the map. That's what I was talking about. I really love it. I wish I could light it up a little bit better. But there's an act like a design on the back, which I'll show you all in a second. Come back out. And then this thing right here is the coolest thing in my world. My ugly brick thing. And if you know what this is a reference to, comment in the 
don't know what this is a reference to, just uh, go leave a comment in the comment section telling me what it is. Come back down over here. Take this path. And over on the left, we got another mob farm. And oh man, I love this thing. Call it the mob factory. And it takes a second to kick in, but all my caves are lit up underground. So uh, this thing, once it gets going, it's fast. Uh, there's supposed to be a villager in there. I've been too lazy. And this thing goes way down into the ground. It's a lot bigger than this. But eventually they just start going through there. There's cats and dogs in there that scares the things down. They keep going. And then they come over here. And these item sorters. Oops, who's there? They're broken. It's supposed to auto sort, but hey. I can only do so much. If you come up right here though, flick that switch. If you ever need to repair your trillion Thalytra, <laughs> stand right here and you get some XP real quick. If you want to enchant something, go into this little cave, which I have not finished, but it does get you level 30. I'll eventually make this look good. Got a little pond down here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Head back out. And then if we come over here. Take a left. We got Ace's Concrete Factory. Pretty cool. Avengers. No, it's Ace's. You come in here. I got this from a, a mumbo jumbo video. I'm not sure if he is the original creator of this, but I will leave a link in the description for this one as well. Uh, do I got any concrete on me? No, I don't. Uh, I'll cut and get some real quick. All right, we go back up. So this thing is pretty cool. Just put your concrete powder in there. Come around here. And so we got a TNT duper. And then another little timer on this side that detects how long TNT needs to wait before blowing up midair. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh! Yeah, see, so it blows up in the middle right there. Come back up. You press this button. I came up with this little thing. So it detects every time you press one, right? So I just put a dropper right there. Powers the dropper. So you can hold it down. And it automatically places one back for you. Super fast, super convenient. I love this thing. Oh, and trust me, I've blown this thing up like more times than you can imagine. All right, and back over here, you've got this nice little path that goes around the honey farm. I forgot to show this earlier, but I do got a sweet little uh, AFK room up here. Just go down the ladder and chill in here. Somehow some bees got trapped in here. And they always face that way. Ah, but I don't mind. Easy way to get in there. Come back up. And then if you follow this path, it takes you over to my villager trading hall, which has been incomplete forever. I want to make it two stories. So you come up here and then on the second story, you have a really nice auto brewing system. 
but <sighs> redstone, right? You come in here though, you can just open this up, talk to these guys, say, hey, what's up? Close it back up. And these guys have died so many times. Ugh, <sighs> zombies. But I, I got some decent trades. I do want to, uh, however, make them cheaper. Zombies were getting in right there, baby zombies. That's why I put those blocks right there. Come right here, though. And then we got Ender Mountain. Oh, man. This was a grind right here. Uh, I haven't really built anything here yet. I eventually want to build a chorus fruit farm. Maybe some cool little buildings. But for now, we just got the ice on the top of the mountain. That's my ice farm for now. Come over here, go inside this cave. And we got the, the Eye of Ender. You know, like Eye of Mordor. But Eye of Ender. Come in here. Well, there's nothing. Oh, I'm stuck. What? Ah! Oh, there we go. That was weird. Yeah, that thing looks really cool. I designed that in creative. I just brought it over to my world. Come up here. And get some ice. I like my ice. Cold. And you come around here. I, uh, I eventually have plans for this area, too. Like I said, a castle. But it's a lot of effort. This is what, just where I farm Podzil. As you can tell, I've ripped all the ground out. It doesn't regrow, so it doesn't spread. So you just got to keep planting these trees. Maybe one day I'll come over here with some flint and steel. And bring it down. Wow, I never realized the desert was so close, actually. I'm on a new PC. I used to play this world on a MacBook. And my gosh, was it slow. It was so slow. Oh, I recently got my first PC ever, and it's just been a dream. It's made these vid videos possible. Uh, but we can come back up over here. Mm, back in the village. Uh, one thing I do want to show off real quick is the little crypt. Keep all my books in here. When you're done storing your magic books in here. Oops. If it wants to work, what's the deal? What the heck? There we go. I normally get that first try. Come over here and got my little cactus farm. Go in here like that. Sweet little trick. And now it's time for some extra dimensional nonsense. Let's go in here. And pop, we're in the nether. Uh, I first built this thing when uh, 1.16 first came out. This was my first time experimenting with these new blocks. And, uh, you know, it's not the best thing I've ever built, but hey, it's pretty. And it was a grind. Like these tunnels, oh man, they took a long time. But if you go over here, got some piglin trading. Let me turn it off, actually. Did I just turn it off? Or yeah, I turned it off. Uh, you just put the gold in here, and then flip that switch, and you got an ethyl clock down there, with the hopper. And it detects how often to throw some gold to those guys. So as soon as they trade, it throws another piece of gold. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. And then we got some tunnels over here. And it's designated to where it's going to go. So we got end portal. We got my prismarine farm. Mm, got terracotta and ice farm. But I just fly to an ice biome. It's not too down here we got the new nether biomes because since i made this world pre 1.16 in a big area around us it's still nether wastelands and then we got the tropical fish area and down this way is a jungle but we also got the uh 
nether fortress and down here is my biggest grind ever my gosh it took me so long eventually oh, there's a blaze spawner so close to my base i was gonna build a little farm over there for it but uh oh yeah this is a long fly and it took me so long to finish these tunnels. There we go. It opens up over here though. And just so you can get an idea of how crazy this is. Look at all these slabs. Oh man, this took me so long. There's so many caves, so many everything. Oh gosh. But you come down here, you got the chill little AFK spot. And since this was such a grind, I used a ton of random blocks and nothing's pretty. This area will never be pretty. It's just more industrial, like farming area. Inside this portal, you just go out there. I have some like warp blocks you can farm. Nothing cool, nothing cool. Eventually though, uh, I'm gonna put a a better gold farm over here because I do have one set up over here with the wither skeletons but it sucks and I I feel like I can make it a little better look at this guy he's got a skull on him <laughs> that's really cool Off on your way and then uh, I set up some more piglins over here a little bit more this is not complete at all I need to set up a, like a cart that goes around and puts gold in there for them and uh, actually put some guys in here. It's just a pain in the butt. They never want to follow me down this track for some reason. So I only got one. If we come down this way though, this is how I have so many beacons. Uh, you come down here, there's a blaze spawner up there. I, I, I'm thinking about breaking it, but who knows. Come down here. get so many skulls from this thing and eventually i'll put up some redstone so i can turn it on and off and when i make my gold farm over there it'll be super efficient but for now this is where all the gold spawns and i don't know it just it doesn't satisfy me if you come up here though i do have some villagers there might be a, a massacre one of these days but uh for now it, it'll spawn some golems inside this one it'll kill the pigmen and then the magma box just kill them it's not f efficient at all you got some zombies over there they're sleeping right now but they'll get scared every now and then and a guy will spawn when they sleep a guy will spawn over here let's bet i never fixed this <laughs> yeah i never fixed this but uh we got my best salt farm so fast that it's in the nether. Look how fast that goes. I used to have a little thing that collected it on the nether. But I could probably make it better, to be honest. And let's just fly back. Dangerous fly. Oh, actually, let's show you uh, my best friend over here. I don't know what the deal is. I think because I was playing in a snapshot, a lot of these guys bugged out. But this guy is flying, and I'm pretty sure if I ride him, he'll actually fly around in the air as I ride him. But I've never wanted to mess with it because uh, he's super cool. I don't want him to go away. Come back around this way, though. And currently, the portal, this portal is where uh, the giant portal takes you. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm going to build another little nether area up there. Uh, if you come down here, though, oh, this will take you to two places. And I'll show you the uh, Guardian Farm first. Because uh, once I go to the end, you can't come back. Going through the portal. Ah, this, this place was so laggy on my old computer. Let's, let's see how it holds up. Oh, don't want to fall down there. This is inside the temple, actually. So you open that up. I have a little thing right there. That just puts the soul seed back, but I never use it because it's fast enough. I do you want to close the doors? Though. 
Uh, so as you can see, we got a temple down here, actually pretty close to my base. And you can see the raid farm over there. But we got the little AFK spot up here. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm still missing the box right now. I think this kind of shows that I can do interiors if I feel like it. If I feel like it. But you just AFK up here for a little while and you can get quite a bit of drops. It just, it's nice that it's glass. Look at those guys. Suckers. <laughs> you come over here. I think you can actually fly through the portal too. Yeah. Go back in. And let's go to the end. I need to eat. This this thing right here is a chunk loader that doesn't work. I need to fix it. But uh, I spend a lot of time in this room, so I thought I'd make it pretty. I like how it takes you right to the end portal. Some may say I'm a cheat, but getting sand, getting concrete, getting gravel is a real pain in the butt. So I saw this thing on YouTube and I'm surprised it still works. It's su survived a couple of updates, but you just come around here, flip that switch. Did it really just break? No way. Ugh. I can't believe this thing just broke. Well, I'm not fixing that. <laughs> Oops. Uh. <laughs> oh well. I'll fix it later. It's happened multiple times. But the stuff usually, usually lands right here. And uh, you might have saw I had a chunk loader in there. I was eventually going to make a obsidian farm right here. But, uh. Because every time an item goes through here, this platform respawns. Come up here and surprise, this place is a wasteland. I've completely destroyed this place. Let's just fly around. I thought it'd be funny to uh, put some snowmen in here. And uh, they just throw snow, but a lot of them have died, but they throw snowballs at the Endermen. Yeah, you can see some. Yeah, look at all those guys. Over here. We got the Enderman farm. And uh, I believe this one was a uh, dock ant. Oh no, I think they saw me. Oh no, they saw the, the other guy. Uh, this was dock M77's design. You come down here and I'm not gonna kill them. My goodness, it's loud. Actually, maybe I will. Oh yeah, that thing's so loud. My dog hates that noise, it scares her. And uh, I only have two end gateways open right now. Maybe in some future videos, we'll slay some dragons. Then open up some more. Uh, this was an old Wither Rose farm that doesn't work anymore. Uh, it's whatever. You can actually trap them in here, though. They won't do anything. But uh, it broke, and they start blowing up the platform in the most recent edition. If you come over here, though, you got a giant hole. This is where Ender Mountain was uh, dug up. Come down here. Uh, this is where I farmed some withers. And I might be able to demonstrate real quick. Do I got any skulls? I probably do. Uh, yeah, let's kill a wither. Or actually, let's watch a wither get slain. You gotta heal these guys every now and then. They do take a little bit of damage. But when you spawn a wither down here, it gets its head trapped in the bedrock. And uh, I don't wanna get hit by that explosion. Uh, it can't move, and then these guys just beat him up for me. I'll help him out. Eh. 
man. We got to uh we got to start. Uh there we go. Let's just hold that. Our first weather sling together, guys. And then we'll just hop back through. Oh, there's a little AFK spot up there. Not worth going to. Hop back. Ah, oh, the last bed I slept in was over here. All right, and now for the most important thing in my entire world, and the very last thing I'm going to show you. My rarest block. Look at this thing. I'm almost kind of scared to stand on it, but I'll do it for y'all. Look at that. We'll just trash that. It's worthless to me. But, uh, yeah, so in a snapshot, this block actually spawned, uh... In a mountain or something somewhere snowy and during that version uh enderman could pick up those blocks but without the snow on top of it and it still retained that texture and one just happened to put it in this tree over here for me. and I, I only have one and it's been patched and there's no way to get these blocks now so super duper rare and none of y'all have one but me <laughs> All right, well, I think that's the end of the video, guys. And it honestly went a lot smoother than I thought it would. Uh, I was a little bit nervous. I've never made a video like this before where I'm doing commentary, but it wasn't so bad. I think I'll get a little bit better at it. Uh, Y'all tell me down in the comments below how you think I did. And if you like my world, uh, tell me what your favorite thing was. And uh, maybe I'll choose a comment to uh, review in the next video. I uh, definitely plan on making more content for y'all. What? Yeah, so just go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll be back soon, guys. Bye-bye.